Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated, and welcome to the video series on how to use and maintain your gas chainsaw. Today we're going to talk about how to mix your two-stroke oil and how to add barn chain oil and fuel to your gas chainsaw. So first, let's, let's mix our gas and oil mixture. This particular gas can is a two-gallon gas can. We, we want to fill it halfway with fuel and then add two 2.6 two-stroke oil containers. So one 2.6 container will mix one gallon of fuel. So in this case, we're going to need two of these. So let's add our two-stroke mixture. So by adding two bottles and two gallons of fuel, we're going to make a 50 to 1 mix. Now this can is halfway full, we've got two bottles of oil in it. Now we're going to fill the rest of the gas can up with 89 octane gas, shake it up, and we're ready to go. So now that we've added another gallon of fuel, shaken it up, we're ready to add the fuel and the barn chain oil. So in this particular model, there's the gas reservoir and the oil, oil reservoir. Both are notated by insignias either on the cap or on the saw itself. This has the fuel tank, this has the oil on the chain. So next let's fuel up our chainsaw. First let's put the two stroke gas mixture in. Always remember not to overfill your gas tank. You never want to have a spill. Hand tighten the cap, never over tighten. Next we're going to move on to our bar and chain loop. So we'll put our cap back on. Remember not to over tighten your cap. So now it's time to go outside where I'm going to properly show you how to do a cold start and a warm start. So now that we have our chainsaw filled up with fuel and full of bar and chain oil, let's talk about safe starting position. Many people are known to what we call drop starting a saw. It's when you use the weight of the saw pulled away from you to actually start the saw. It's a very dangerous situation when the throttle may be stuck wide open, or depending on where the piston is, the saw could violently jerk downward. So not the approved way to start a chainsaw. The approved way to start a chainsaw is on the ground, firmly with no obstructions around the chainsaw. You want to have the chain brake on, and for a cold start, you want to make sure that your toggle switch is in the on position, your choke is pulled out, and you've pressed the purge valve four to five times to prime the engine. So I'm going to put my hearing protection on, my glasses on, and now I'm ready to start the chainsaw. I'm going to push the choke back in, now I'm ready to start it. That was the cold starting procedure. Now let's talk about warm starting procedure. If your chainsaw has been running all day, there's no need to use the choke. So the same position still applies for your warm starts. You always want to make sure that your chain brake is on, you're in the on switch, firmly on the ground with your foot in the rear handle, and you're ready to start your chainsaw. So next, let's talk about correct operating procedures. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated with a video series on how to use and maintain your gas chainsaw. So today we're outside and I'm going to show you the proper techniques in using your chainsaw. But before we do that, there's a couple things we need to do. 
First we need to clean our area of any debris or logs that uh, the log may fall on when we're doing our cutting. So we'll need to remove any obstructions on the log that we're going to cut and then clear away just the general debris around our cutting site. So I've got my safety apparel on, my chaps, my gloves, my helmet with my hearing protection and eye protection. I'm going to start my chainsaw up, clear my area, and then we're ready to cut our firewood. Well, now that we have our area cleared and we're ready to cut, let's talk a little bit about your stance and position that you'll need to know while making your cut. First of all, we want to make sure that no one's around our working site, uh, children, pets, everybody's away, it's safely cleared away from our work spot. Next thing we want to look at is our chainsaw. Do we have the right chainsaw for the right application? Depending on what size firewood you want to cut, it will depend on what size stove that you have. So anywhere between 14 and 18 inches is a typical wood stove. So our stance is going to be an athletic stance with your left foot a little bit forward than your right. Your chainsaw, your left hand, is going to be on your front handle, easily accessible to activate the brake. Your right hand will be on the rear handle, which controls your throttle. So before you start your cut, you want to throttle up the chainsaw, place it lightly on the wood, and have solid pressure all the way through the cut. Once you're done with the cut, you want to activate the brake again and place your saw firmly on the ground. So now that we've talked about proper techniques to use your chainsaw, let's get started. 